Hi guys and welcome back to our next video about hacking web apps and today we are going to discuss another vulnerability. So basically uh, this vulnerability to, to, of today's topic is basically called uh, directory traversal and uh, you're gonna you're gonna see why it's called that and it's mainly focused on directories. So far we know that the web server is working with directories and basically in Kyrie or any Linux upon installing Apache, it's uh, by default located in slash var uh, www and therefore HTML. Here is our basically uh, basic HTML files, the basic server files and so on. This is our web root. So basically any server is working with some kind of directory and uh, by applying directory traversal attack, we can go back to directories. We can search for files and directories that we are not allowed. And therefore, I'm going to show you how to use tools like Web Spider and Dirp in order to understand all directories inside a current host. So, without further ado, just open a Firefox, minimize that, and uh, navigate to Build App. 192.1 say that 200.102. Build up, login. Now specify the directory traversal one. So go down to, to, to the bottom and uh, yeah, okay. So we have directories and files. So basically, with that vulnerability, we can specify different directories and also we can specify different files. So let's just start with the files basically. Let's go and uh, yeah, just put the files hack and now here try to come higher directly to Russell files and now we can see the URL. So basically we have the build up directly to Russell PHP. We have the question mark which means that we are specifying a parameter. The parameter we are specifying is page and page equals message message.txt. So basically for example, this is where I can input my own uh, like information. And if the file exists, it's gonna be displayed. So for example, here instead of message.txt, let's just try to type uh, robots.txt. Boom, we see the robots.file. So basically any files that uh, is stored there, if finding vulnerability about directory traversal, so we can display the files and we can display the content of directories. So uh, why do you need to know that and why that's useful? Because, well, for example, most of the web servers are actually hiding or securing their internal folders like pictures, supports, and so on. So in most cases, you are not able to access the basic supports of the web app. You can, you can in most cases, access the platforms only that you can upload. For example, your pictures, your message, your turn and, and so on. So basically in most web apps you can access only your uploads and you are not allowed to access the upload folder where everything is stored since it's dangerous and compromising. But when you find vulnerability like directory traversal, you can actually go and access that specified pages or specified files you want. So that's why it's so powerful. Because if for example there's a WordPress page and you type uh WP content of slash uploads you won't give, you you won't be getting anything, but if you find a vulnerability in the web app, you can go and specify uploads, and it now is going to redirect or WP content uploads, and now you're going to be redirected to the file where all the uploads are standing. So that's why it's needed. And basically, how can you verify you have found that uh, such vulnerability by actually specifying uh, different outputs, different inputs in the parameters, and see if you can get or extract the information. So let's uh, just give another example with using uh, directories. So here, hack, and now we see our URL directory equals documents. And now we can type instead of documents, let's say images. And now we have the complete uh, overview of the folder images. So here we can inspect every single one of them. And uh, here even we see that we have our file which was cmd.php and from here we can even go and uh, use that file and specify commands. Oh sorry, cmd equals who am I? And we specify commands. 
So basically we see we can access uh, different directories that uh, basically were not allowed. And uh, in order to perform such an attack, you need to understand how the Linux directory tree is working. We've basically discussed it in your previous modules. But uh, I'm going to give you a slight overview about that again. So go to Linux directory tree. So basically the tree in Linux is mainly hierarch hierarchical. So here, as we see, we have the root. We have the var uh, right here, which is now displayed in, in that picture. So basically go here. Uh, we have the var walk files, pull files, and other dynamic files. So in var, this actually, the, the tree extends, and there are more like, uh, uh, more trees there, more records, and in the var, this is where we are located. So we have a hierarchical order, we have hierarchical tree, and uh, using that knowledge, we can go back to directories and specify directories that we are not supposed to. So now let's just uh, show you one quick tool that I really like, and this is called derp. So basically, by specifying derp, it's printed out in Kali. So by specifying derp, it's gonna actually give us an example about the options and about the example of usage that how can we, how are we supposed to use that tool. So basically use derp, and we see all the available options about uh, the tool. We have the version, we have by who is made, and now we have, uh, the examples about the usage of derp and for example we can uh, just specify the url and the derp is gonna work so basically what's a derp and how it's working well derp or derp buster is a tool where it actually uh, have a word list uh, common word list you can of course specify your own custom word list of course but uh, derp is working with its predefined default word list and what it does is basically taking all the files inside, all the records, all the words inside the word list and trying to, uh, to access that page automatically. And when it gets a code of 200, which is HTTP successful connection, it's going to bring us back and says, here we have, we have found that pages. It's working pretty simple. You just take it with this and brute forcing the, the directories right there. He's trying to connect to every single one of the word list by, by your specified domain. So for example, uh, now if I say derp, and let's say view up and here specify wait, uh, just HTTP view up, sorry, view up and now click enter. If I uh, here I need to input a valid URL, of course, the derp is gonna scan to the, to the main domain of view up every single of its directories that it has available. So uh, we can update the word list, we can modify it, we can create our new and customize it, we can use our, our custom word list, but this does not matter so much. So uh, this is how it works, you just get the word list, send a request to every single page of your specified domain, and uh, it's waiting for response, if the response is 200, then the page is up and running. So for example, if I have buwap.com, and my word list has pages like, uh, admin and password and login, the burp is going to do such a way. So it's going to actually try to, to log in to actually send a request and wait for response to, to the page admin. Therefore, he's going to see the response. If it's 200, okay. If it's not, continue to the next one. Password, no, login, yes, and so on. So as you can see, if you are doing that manually, it's going to take a hell amount of time and that's why the tools are good, they're, they're automated and they do the hard work for us. So for example, in burp, I can specify, uh, derp, sorry, in derp, I can specify my uh, domain. So uh, here my domain is 192.168.1.102, bwap, slash bwap. So we can grab that, paste it here and, and we see it automatically specified HTTP protocol since we've copied from the web browser. So HTTP and therefore the domain, view up, and now when I click enter, it's gonna actually prompt with all available things in each word list. So click enter, generating words, and we see we have the records that view up have found. We have the admin apps, backdoor, bugs, capture, connect, and so on. So uh, this is how it's actually uh, seeking and uh, showing us directories. It just brought forth you from its custom word list. So yeah, this is how it works. We see all the available directories and so on. And furthermore, this is a, a big attack vector possibilities because from here we can actually see a directories that 
by default should not supposed to be opened. So uh, there, well, Skynet actually directory is, is a great action of uh, analyzing attack vectors and building your attack vectors. Since based on directories, you can find vulnerabilities, disclosures, information disclosure, and, and so on. So basically, it's really important to always structure and, and deal buster the directory since you can find a lot of relevant and needed information right there. So keep in mind that this is quite important in web app hacking and you always want to have directory listed. Even though, even though you have found some attack vectors, this does not matter. By listing all directories, you can fight even more and therefore you can actually increase your chance of success. So this is quite important and you always want to deer bust the directory. You can use many tools like GoBuster, Deer Buster, and so on. There are many tools. There are graphical tools although. So if you're not okay with the common one, there are graphical user interface tools and so you always need to actually perform such, such, such things. But keep in mind that while uh, you, you are directory browsing and brute forcing, you are not invisible, so keep that in mind. Now you can see here we have the code 200, so this page online and so on. Okay, nice, so close that. Now it's time to actually see what the burp spider can do. So go to here, go to preferences, go to uh, like settings, change the proxy, now uh, fire a burp. It's again pretty out in Kali. We don't have to worry about nothing. Click next. Start burp. Okay, amazing. Now we have the burp up and running. We have the proxy tab right here. So we need to actually make some request to, to any page. Let's just make a request. Go to uh, like right click and uh, no, actually, just now it's supposed to actually see. Okay, so now uh, whenever we follow the request, whenever we actually co connecting with the server and we're uh, actually accessing requests and uh, transferring requests, now the server, the burp, sorry, is actually adding everything it finds as an IP or domain as our targets. So here we have uh, LinkedIn, uh, we have Twitter, and that's why we have, uh, these are the links where Burp is actually getting information. So now we need to actually uh, right click that and add to scope. So we are focused only on that IP. Scope is where the scope of targets we are interested in because we are not interested in that targets like Facebook and so on. So now we can uh, click the filter right here and see show only in scope items to, to output the, the targets more clear. And for example, we can have multiple targets, but it's always good to have uh, your scope clear because many of the targets will have many social links like view update and therefore your targets would be would be huge and you wouldn't, wouldn't be able to see anything whatsoever. So it's always a good practice to actually keep everything out of scope uh, hidden by specifying that filter. And now we can uh, go here, right click and see spider that host. So whenever we spider that host, uh, it's gonna actually uh, do something quite familiar what uh, the, the derp did, we can actually these are the forms that the people are asking us for some uh, credentials. And here we have, uh, yeah, ignore form. And here we have the, actually, the, the directories that Burp has stored so far. So, so far we have BWAP, Drupal, Icons, and so on, PHP, MyAdmin, SQLite. And this is like the main host, the, the main host there. So if I go to BWAP and actually uh, zoom, zoom in, into the, into the directories, I see more directories and more directories and that's what the spider is actually doing. It's go there, it's spidering all the available networks, it's spidering on um, the page, sorry. It's spidering and brute forcing the directories and seeing whenever we can get a connection back with successful connection and if we get a connection back, that means that the page is up and running and it's online. And as you can see, it's finding even files, it's finding directories and files, so we do not have to actually worry about to double actually accessing the tools 
one for directory so and one for the files and we see we have basically uh our cmd.php we have everything we have visited right there we have every parameter we have input right there so this is quite uh different than derp this is acting more like uh intelligently because derp is just simple to is take the orders brute force but spider is basically trying to do more links trying to actually uh, saves and remembers what parameters we have inputted where so basically if I input some parameters on some page the spider is gonna remember it and therefore I can go and uh, actually remember what I have done or recreate that scenario or sequence and, and so on so uh, spider is more like intelligently than there but uh, it, it can it, you are still not invisible while spidering so keep that in mind and so on so one few tips keep your your sitemap your targets clear keep everything out of the scope hidden because it's basically useless and therefore search for everything as much as possible since the information is everything so guys i really appreciate for watching this was the some of the tools that i want to show you the and the spider of the burp these tools are great for uh accessing directories trying to find directories and even the burp one can save different parameters in different fields so you can remember you can go back and recreate that sequence and so on uh, so these tools are great you need to get used to it you need to take a lot of practice with the tools i highly recommend to install bwap or bbuck and go there and try to implement every single one of them see how can you uh, see the directories see how can you access the directories and even in the burp you can copy the the directory path into a curl command so you can use even curl to that specified directory and so on so these tools are pretty useful and about the techniques of discovering directories in directory traversal so i want to say that you always want to check for directories the more information the better even though if you find some critical vulnerabilities when you go for directories you can find even more so this is actually great and useful so guys uh, this is uh, today's video all about directories and burp and dirp so i really appreciate you for watching i really hope that was useful and as we said before the experimentation and the self-practice is uh, one of the greatest tools in learning so go go there install build up install burp or dirp which is come pre-installed in kali but if you don't have kali you can install them manually so install that tools go there try to input some parameters try to see directories try to browse directories try to use curl commands try to use everything possible in order to expand your knowledge in cybersecurity. because you see it's a complex things of many many tools like we should know how the web server is working we should know how the web app is working we should know about the directories we should know about that we should know about that we should know about that we see there's a complex tools a complex terms a complex ideas there are uh, multiple ideas the technology nowadays is super complex and it's working like uh, it, it's really developing fast so uh, you cannot by any chance remember anything but the point here is not to remember anything but to know how to find it and to know what the, the tools are using basically you don't need to remember anything you need to know how to get it basically so in order to understand the core principle the core principle for the attacks and the methods we use uh, this is how you can actually uh, get better in hacking the hacker is not one who remembers anything the hacker is one who thinks creatively and knows where to find the information he needs so basically i highly recommend install build up go there try every single one even not in build up you uh, set up your own environment go there uh, shoot burp shoot derp and try every single scenario possible so this is from today guys thank you for watching and see you in the next video